All right, let's talk about the shank of an instrument here for just a second. So from this last bend that's closest to the handle all the way down to the heel of the working end, this is known as the functional shank of each of these instruments. So on this one, it's from here to there, from here to there, here to there. Now, why is that of significance? What's, what's the functional shank even do? If we have a longer functional shank, those are gonna be instruments we use on root surfaces. We need to be able to access those deep pockets, and so we need a longer instrument. So these instruments right here with kind of a shorter shank might only be good for crown surfaces of instrumentation. The other thing I wanna talk about on the shank is what's called the lower or the terminal shank. So this terminal shank area from the working end heel all the way to this very first bend. So this one, working end heel to this first bend. That's called our lower or terminal shank. Now that's important because it helps us orient our instruments to the tooth surface. For example, if I am working on a tooth here and I'm trying to orient what is the correct working end, I'm looking at this lower or terminal shank. So if I get my fulcrum here, I can tell that this is not the correct working end because my shank is actually coming across the tooth and I want my shank to be parallel to the long axis of the tooth to determine my correct working end using that lower or terminal shank. Now another factor that comes into play that, it's, that makes that lower terminal shank really important is once I find my correct working end and I've determined that by the terminal shank being parallel to the long axis of the tooth, when I want to activate on this tooth, I actually go to a 70 to 80 degree angle based on that terminal shank, and then I can do my strokes at a 70 to 80 degree angle. If I have a Gracie instrument, for example, this is the double Gracie, my tip is already oriented parallel at a 70 to 80 degree angle on my tip, I should say. And so my terminal shank, when I use this, I want my shank to be parallel to the long axis of the tooth when I'm instrumenting. So we use this lower terminal shank quite a bit to determine where and how we work on a tooth properly. Sometimes they'll even make this shank a little bit longer. When they make it longer, that makes it available to us to use it on super deep pockets. This one is not an extended shank, but they do make them like three millimeters longer. And then we can really access those areas that have a greater amount of clinical attachment loss.